Hey there, it's Jamie, and we are going to use the next couple minutes to get the data downloaded from the scraper and into Excel. So the scraper is finished running, and I'm back on my main page. You can see the browsed data at the bottom, but to get the data out of here and into Excel, it's a pretty easy process. I go to my site map drop down, uh, drop down menu, click the arrow, go to export data, and then I have two choices, download as Excel or download as CSV. We're going to download in Excel only. Downloading in CSV will mean that only the first page of your workbook is going to get saved, and we're going to end up with maybe eight workbooks, or eight pages in our workbook. And if you don't save it, you'll lose it and you have to start over. So download as Excel. I'm just going to allow it to download on my desktop. I'm going to open it up. And this is what I have. The first thing I'm going to do is check to see how many rows of data I have. This is the number of observations that I have. You'll upload your number of observations to the discussion post in Canvas once you download the women's shoe data. So to figure out how many rows, it's command or control if you're on a PC, and then the down arrow. So I've got 5,990 rows of scraped men's data. The next thing that I'm going to take a look at is I'm going to sort this data by the web scraper order in reverse order. I'll show you what I mean by that. Green triangle highlights everything, and then to data and sort. My list has headers, so I'll check that. But I'm going to sort by column web scraper order. And when the scraper is running through the web pages, it appears to do so backwards. So if we want the best selling shoe on top, we have to sort from Z to A. Then I click OK. And here we are. Look, there's our Hoka Bondi 7 shoe. MSRP 160, but on sale for 127.95. It's had 6,000 reviews, and there are our star ratings. And here, so double check that you've got something that looks like that. All right, I'll see you in the next video, and we'll start figuring out how the heck we move on and translate this wall of numbers into something that we can understand. All right, happy calculating.